Okay, so that is all of our presentations. Um, so, you know, this is, my, this is my fourth year doing this, and I just want to share every single year I see this competition, this is how I feel. That's me, every single time. Mind blown every single time. You guys did this in barely 24 hours? Oh my god. You, 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 and every year, like 30 projects? Wow, this is just incredible. I mean, hey, can I have a round of applause for all this work? And so, while we're waiting for Mike, a round of applause for Mike and all of his team. And, and Alice, all please. Stuff. And Al, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't see Alice. Where is she? Alice. Alice. Yeah. Alice. Okay, she's off doing something important. <laughs> okay, so we'd like the judges to to now move on to deliberate. Um, each of our sponsors, uh, we'd like to just give them have them. They have about two minutes to give a quick closing remark. Um, just so you know, at the end, I, this the, um, it's a probably all going to be, I hope, the same mind-blown sort of thing. Um, but we're just going to give our judges a little bit of time. Uh, after we get through these closing remarks, we're going to have three award presentations. Uh, so also giving our, our top sponsors time to think about which projects they would like to give their awards to from uh, Microsoft, IBM, and Socrata. But first, I'd like to ask Microsoft to come up for their closing remark. Hey everyone, um, just a few things. First of all, a huge, huge word of thanks to each of you who spent the weekend creating the most amazing, amazing things. It's just fantastic to see. Um, also, I, I just, huge shout out to the organizers, to Mike and Alice, who we've been working with from, from so early on. I want to remind everyone, this is a citizen-driven volunteer event. So these folks have been really doing it completely on their own time, and it is amazing what you have done, and it's an honor to support you. So applause. Yeah. So um, it, just incredible. Um, a, a couple of things, just, just you know, housekeeping. Uh, there were some amazing things that maybe might turn into businesses. And if you think that's possible, we have um, a, a great program that's called BizSpark. And our Microsoft people in the room can raise their hands. And any one of us um, can, can give you this um, uh, access to this program called BizSpark, which is three years of a whole lot of free software, free cloud. And then you're like part of the BizSpark program. And it means that we can help you um, find what you need, get the help you need, get access to our entire dev kit and a whole lot of great stuff. So don't, don't miss that opportunity because it's, it's here, um, uh, right here, right now. And that includes like 150 bucks a month of free Azure, um, just a, a lot, you can do a lot with what's in there, so, so don't miss that. And then the second thing was I wanted to give you a reminder in case you haven't had an opportunity, and this is on behalf of Skype in the Classroom, and by the way, it was fun to see Skype even sprinkled into some of the hacks as well, um, or team collaboration. And um, this is for the Uplift, uh, the Uplift program, the, the, the Skype um, guest speaker program in the classroom. So that's the two 20 minute a month mentoring to classrooms. So um, onboarding is super easy. You would text um, to, 41411, if anyone missed it last time and you're interested now, um, or go to www.skypeguestspeakers.com. If you text um, to 41411, um, you, you type in Skype ITC, um, Skype in the classroom, and they'll, they'll shoot you a note that you can, you can sign up for. Um, incredible opportunity to fortify like why you do what you do by seeing it you know mirrored back to you with with kids of a range of ages so don't miss that opportunity it would be an honor to include you in that and that's it from for Microsoft thank you so much okay can we get uh, interstellar sponsor IBM would someone like to give some closing remarks yeah. come on up I like to sh show off my shirt. <laughs> I said, first of all, I like to show off my shirt. <laughs> <laughs>
first of all, big thank you to everybody who really participated in this event. I, I think it's just a great event. We're really happy. Uh, and thank you to all the teams who use Bluemix out there in their projects. You know, once again, amazing, fantastic jobs. And IBM is really happy to be participating in this event as a global partner. We're hacking in 33 cities with NASA. And again, awesome, very cool. Now, each one of these 33 cities is gonna be handing out prizes. There's gonna be three in New York City. And the prizes are gonna be based on, you know, how it relates to NASA, how they've used Blue Mix, and I think it's very cool. Uh, now, please load your apps, just a bit of housekeeping, on ibm.biz forward slash space apps 2015 for judging. And we're gonna close judging end of day on Tuesday the 14th, and that's when very shortly after that we'll announce prizes worldwide. And again, kudos to everybody here. Thank you, Mike, for the organizing, and thank you, NASA, for doing this really cool event. So thank you once again. And I, I, I see Alice is in the room. Can we give her a round of applause while she's here? Thank you, Alice. Thank you. Okay, uh, Interstellar sponsor Socrata. Any closing remarks? We'd love to hear from you. Christian Huberheide. Hi, everyone. My name is Christian. I met about 90% of you, I feel, throughout the weekend. So I'm, I wish I met the other 10% of you, but maybe you didn't stop by our table. Um, Anyway, I was just talking to Y in the back just a couple minutes ago, I'm way back there, and I feel absolutely amazed and blown away by all the different uses of the Intel Edison, of data.nasa.gov, of APIs, things that I truly never, ever thought of. And this is the kind of stuff that I and Y and others do for a living, right? So this is pretty cool to see all these interesting uses of the technologies we already are proud of. Um, I wanted to share one quick quote, quote and then a couple of words of thanks. First off, hopefully many of you know Jim Lovell, who is a former NASA astronaut. Well, one of my favorite quotes from him is, there are those that make things happen, there are those that watch things happen, and there are those who wonder what happened. And you, all of you in this room, are obviously the people that make things happen. So first of all, a round of applause for everyone here one more time. Personally, and on behalf of the team myself, the Socrata team, and the team that I worked with at NASA on data.nasa.gov, thanks for the, all the feedback and the ongoing feedback we received on the site. There's obviously a lot that worked well and things that we're going to continue to grow and build upon. So I thank you for that. Keep providing that feedback. Um, and finally, just major thanks to the organizers because this was fantastic and I absolutely cannot wait for next year. So thanks again. Supernova sponsor, Intel Mashery, why you want to come up? All right. All right, so uh, I didn't know I was supposed to come up, but uh, I want to thank all of you for spending the past 24 hours with us. Um, it's been great. I'm tired, you guys are tired, but you guys have truly made a difference and made something awesome. I'm sure all the judges are trying to decide what are some of the best hacks over the 24 hours because you know, it's really hard to decide because all of them were awesome. But um, the takeaway is after this weekend, uh, keep doing what you love, keep doing what you're good at, and you know, challenge yourself. That's all I have to say. All right. Thank you. And I, I'd like to take a minute to note too that you know, uh, Intel brought us 15 Edison devices uh, here for the event for people to loan out and use. Um, they have donated those devices, and we will be giving them to the educational institutions that came here, uh, brought their students. So thank you. Thank you, Intel. Thank you, Mashery. Uh, next up, uh, I don't know if we have anyone here from Touch Lab. Is, is Kevin here? Anybody? OK. Uh, uh, anyone from about.com? Does Jonathan want to talk again? Is he around? There he is. Jonathan Roberts, everybody. A 
I think the thing that surprises me every time we come back here year after year is the number of people here who don't work with space data, who don't work with science data, day in, day out. I mean, we have some big universities in, in New York City, um, and there are a few people who come in and out who talk about the NASA data here, but you've all come here and tried to pick up what is a fiendishly complex set of data in a very short amount of time. And I think what that taught me, I come from an academic background in this kind of science, and I was amazed the first time I came around, and I continue to be amazed year on year at how much people can make out of this data in a very short space of time. And what it really says is that the skills that you have here are applicable anywhere, right? whether it's in your day job, whether it's working on data sets around New York City, whether it's uh, on data around space and other planets, you should continue to keep that curiosity going and keep in touch with all the people that you've met here. Because being able to apply those skills wherever you want to apply them is a very powerful thing. Um, a quick shout out to two organizations which, much like NASA, run events but don't have big monetary prizes at the end of them. Uh, Datakind is a good one, a nonprofit for data science and for analytics. Um, if, you, if you enjoyed working on these projects this weekend, they run data dives for weekends where you help out NGOs and solve problems in a weekend. Um, they also run longer term six month projects. If you're interested in working on a longer project and being part of that and you're interested in data science as a discipline and want to work with people in the environment who do that, then please do. Um, I'm one of the data ambassadors for them, which is one of the reasons I'm saying that now. Uh, and then also Beta NYC, who do it specifically for problems around New York City. Uh, both nonprofits, both organizations doing great things with data if you want to take this on further. Um, because I'm up here representing about.com, I'll say if you want to do this in your day job, <laughs> um, um, we have a team of research scientists from neuroscience, computational linguistics, machine learning, astrophysics. Um, solving problems within one of the largest media companies on the internet. We have 20 years of data, a third of the US comes through the site every month. Um, if you are interested in working out with that kind of scale of data and those kind of interesting problems, uh, we would love to talk to you. We are always expanding and looking for talented people. Um, but most of all, keep in touch with the people you met here and don't stop exploring with the data that you have there. Thank you very much. Uh, Supernova sponsor Twilio, is Ricky here? There he is, come on up. Uh, I, I feel like kind of I'm just gonna say the same things everyone else has said, uh, which hopefully you don't mind. First of all, uh, Mike and Alice, I, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Let's, let's give them just like a huge round of applause. <laughs> Uh, can, can we just get a show of hands? How many of you, was this your first hackathon? Wow, so. Uh, the entirety of Team Video. <laughs> wow, that, that's a huge group. Uh, and, and I wanna say personally, my first hackathon, I was too scared to go demo. Uh, I chickened out. Uh, so the fact that you all got up and showed what you did, that's amazing. Uh, and you should be very, very proud. Uh, and second of all, like, I went to my first hackathon five years ago and I met some of my best friends. Like it was a life changing experience. So uh, I'm very excited for the journey you all are gonna start by coming here. Uh, everyone in this room has the power to write the code that's gonna create the future. Uh, and I can't wait to see what you all do. Thanks a lot. Supernova sponsor, SparkPost. Ben, is Benjamin around? I know, so we had some West Coast sponsors that I, and I, I think Double Judge also had to go, uh, they had to, to fly back, but you know, big thank yous to, to both SparkPost and Double Judge. SparkPost with the, the, their email sending um, uh, application uh, API interface and Double Dutch. Double Dutch provided the mobile app for our event. Uh, so big thank you to them, thanks very much. So I don't know, we may have to pause for a sec. I don't know if Microsoft is ready to give their award for best Microsoft hack. I'm not sure if I see anyone. So we may take a short break. Uh, we still have some deliberation on the parts of the judges. Uh, one note I would like to make, um, I'll come up to the podium.
<laughs> I don't make things easy for our live stream crew. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, yes, we, we do have lots of swag for all of you awesome hackathon participants. Uh, if you have not gotten your t-shirts, multiple t-shirts, if you've not gotten your water bottles, if you have not gotten your stickers, we will stick around. Don't run out the door after we do the work presentations. We want to hand these things out to you. We have lots of awesome NASA and space app stickers. We have our own global main stage uh, stickers and stuff. We want to make sure you get all that stuff. So don't, don't leave right after we announce the awards. <laughs> 